got up early this morning and came to Penang Hill. So we're currently having breakfast in Penang Hill. Apparently the views from the shop are phenomenal. And there's other things to do here as well, which we're gonna go and investigate. Not sure what else we can do here. Some information about the peninsula that brings you up here. It's 30 ringgit return. Uh, 30 ringgit return per person. Per person, okay. So 60 for two, which is about... Yeah. Um, apparently the track is just shy of 2,000 meters. The climb in meters is just shy of 700 meters. And the little car that brings you up, the little tram, it takes 100 people at a time. The journey time is about nine minutes. Yeah. I don't know how often we go. No, it seems to be about every 10 or 15 minutes. So we're going to have our breakfast and then I guess we'll go and have a look and see what's actually here. Penang Hill is a UNESCO nature reserve and there's loads of hiking trails, we knew there was hiking trails so I was all ready to dig out my hiking boots. What I didn't expect was that the hiking trails would look like this. Yeah. One of the reasons we wanted to come here was to see some greenery. It feels like we've been in cities forever. And also because it's so much cooler up here than it is down in the city. It's quite refreshing. <laughs> I've just seen it. We've got to walk up that. This will be interesting. How was that hill for you, Alan? <laughs> yeah. Just as a reminder, Alan has been very ill and actually was bedridden for four days. That was tough. We should have known better really, but I do feel a bit conned to do quite a lot of the trails here. You have to pay an extra charge. So we've just paid an extra roughly 12 pounds to go and do some um, trails. I mean, you get nothing in life for free, but it does mean that we've blown our excursion budget now by coming here.
take it back. I don't, well, I do begrudge paying £12 for that. £12 was quite a lot of money, but it was worth paying to go into the habitat. There's the longest two-span ribbon bridge, beautiful bridge through the treetops, then a treetop walk, and then the highlight for me was seeing the monkeys in the tree, in the oh, wild. Dusk dusky, dusky something monkeys. On the screen, we'll show you. Um, yeah, that was special. Stood there, I could have stood there all day to watch them, but Alan wouldn't let me. <laughs> so we're heading back to the start now and I think it's time for a drink and a snack. This part of Penang Hill is like little England. Gorgeous little houses everywhere. Manicured gardens. Victorian post box. The end of the day was quite traumatic at Penang Hill so we've come to cheer ourselves up at the Manga Cafe at Chong Fat Zoo's mansion. The Blue Mansion. The Blue Mansion, yeah. So before we get to why it ended badly, what did you think of Penang Hill? It's worth going to see. Mm. It's an escape, isn't it, from the usual townish sort of thing, lots of greenery. Yeah. Saw some monkeys. Wild monkeys! I could have stood and watched them all day. The thing that we did pay extra for, I've forgotten the name of the it for the moment, walk. with the skywalk and the tree walk. I take it all back, that was worth paying the extra for because you did get to experience the rainforest. You can quite happily go up to Penang Hill take your own food, take your own drink, walk around, there's plenty of places to stop and have a drink and sit in the shade, there are little cabanas and benches everywhere that you can stop on your way round and just have a drink, you don't have to buy food there, buy drinks there like we did. You no, the actual food and the drinks was relatively, as per usual, cheap. Having said that, there are lots of tourist traps in there. And lots of tourists. And lots of tourists, but things like they were trying to get you to go in and have a photograph taken in a plastic heart. Um, not my kind of thing. And there was a dinosaur exhibition, you know, model dinosaurs, pay extra to go and see that. So lots of tourist traps. And then the, the train up and the train back are stupidly busy. <laughs> and just waiting for half an hour, just. This, this is why it ended badly so we decided to leave at one o'clock at 25 past one we were still queuing for the funicular down yeah. and it turns out that you can pay extra for fast track tickets yes but they are about three times as expensive yeah so while the people are waiting in the queue for half an hour at any time, 50 people can come around the outside and uh, jump in the queue. You know, so you're sitting there waiting and you think, well, okay, well, two trains have been and gone, taking half an hour. But, and then other people have just gone around the outside, uh, you know, to, to go to the front of the queue. Um, so, we now need to make a plan to move on. Having spent the day up a mountain, I'm thinking somewhere cool and somewhere green cooler. would be lovely. Yeah. The change of scenery. The change of scenery. So I think that's what we're going to plan to do. And the next time we see you, hopefully we'll some be somewhere cooler and greener.